Hello and welcome to my blog. I am Brian Foster and today we're going to talk about why am I here and how are you going to find the answers. Spiritism supplies the answer in greater detail than you could imagine. Who hasn't looked up at the night sky and contemplated the age-old question, why am I here? Few of us know, and even if we settle on an answer, it opens up a myriad of other questions. The why is the first step, then comes what, how, and where. We always arrive at an endpoint from which we don't possess the answers to move on. Nevertheless, feeling that we are part of something greater than ourselves and having a purpose in life is vital. Without the certainty of following a higher ideal, than mere existence, we discover emptiness in our soul. Modern culture seeks to fill that hole with the same aim that Rome entertained the masses with their brutal circus. Distracting us from the basic questions enables society to manipulate our desires toward whatever the ruling class deems a priority. In our case, we are channeled to fill the gap with the accumulation of material goods. While every new purchase brings a positive sensation, it is all too fleeting and needs to be constantly reinforced. Like drugs to an addict, the successive highs get less intense, but you still need it. Selfishness is a necessity, for without it we can't husband our resources to accumulate to our heart's desire. Whereas in bygone years there was a tyranny of religious thought, think of the Spanish Inquisition, the pendulum has swung to the other side and all spiritual philosophy is now disdained and publicly ridiculed. Meanwhile, we are told to believe in nothing. Since all is relative and there is no baseline good or bad, only that which makes you feel safe, secure, and happy. Absolute truth has been ruled out as superfluous. The supreme intelligence recognizes the state of affairs all too well. This is precisely the reason why within the last 150 years we have been gifted with more information. Each of us is here for a purpose, and the texts that have been presented to us for each individual to determine for themselves the balance between materialism and spiritualism. The extreme conditions of being wholly motivated by goods or retreating to a mountaintop and isolating yourself from the rest of humanity are to be avoided. Spiritism advocates unifying science, philosophy, and religion. According to Spiritism, there are no miracles. All events may be explained by understanding divine laws. One day science will discover the validity of the set of natural laws and the religions of earth. With the assistance of leading philosophers will guide us in their application. In the meantime, disclosures from the third revelation are meant to supply us with the intellectual yeast to discover the truth about our reason and our mission on our little blue planet. First, why are you here? Well, you are an immortal spirit sent to earth to learn to become a pure spirit. Currently, you are an immature and somewhat uncivilized being. Earth was created to repair your faults and train you to become a loving, caring, fraternal, and honest member of the spirit world. Hence, the need for multiple lives. The target state is simply put. Live the creed do unto others what you would have them do unto you, which, by the way, has been sent to us in various forms from Socrates, Buddha, Confucius, and others. This consistent message has been ignored for too long. Spiritism answers the follow-up question after why am I here? It gives you a peek at what you are, how did you get where you are now, and where you are going. All of the subsequent disclosures are but data points. To put everything together will take more effort on your part. Hopefully, from this beginning, you will commence on the road to true knowledge. If you are interested in learning more about Spiritism, 
please read my book, 51 Disclosures from Spiritism, The Third Revelation. The book is divided into four sections, each categorizing a theme for the type of discoveries that you will make as you read. Number one, ourselves. What are we? Why are we here? What do we have to do? What is our goal? Number two, the spirit realm. What is it? Where is it? How does it work? Number three, how to ascend. What is the path to ascension? What is important to learn? Why we must grow? And number four, prophecies. What do some past prophecies actually mean? What will happen to the world? And how it will happen? God bless.